Hey everybody, real quick, I just wanna share with you a really fun technique. Every time I pick up the guitar, I go hunting for something that I haven't done before. I think that's a really important part of practice, trying to diversify your playing and find new and exciting things each time you pick up the guitar. So today I found this cool little turnaround that I've never played before. So let's say I'm playing a blues and E. All right, I'm coming in at the very end of the progression where we have this turnaround. So we'd have the five chord to the four chord, A7, and then the turnaround, real slow. All right, and it ends with the five chord B dominant seven before resolving back to E7. All right, so right there I played, well, first the scale position. I'm picturing the E major pentatonic scale. All right, that's gonna overlap with the E major chord in a G-shaped position. That's never fun to play, but it's very, very good for visualization. And of course, also I have the E major chord right here in its A-shaped position. So now I've got some landmarks to help me Kind of rationalize this technique. All right, so it's overlapping with our major pentatonic scale. All right, so I'm going to start off. All right, with that little run, I'm going to hammer on from fret 11 up to 12 on the D string, and I'm barring a little piece of the E chord as I do that, so that way I can pick through the chord. All right, so it's 11 hammering up to 12. 9-9 nine, nine on the B string and the G string, the G string and then the B string. And then we're just going to descend on the D string until we reach this little triad. Okay, so so far you have. And we should try to alternate our pick or use our hybrid picking. All right, I'll strike all the strings together in the final part there before throwing in my five chord and I'm gonna use hybrid picking for this absolutely. I've got my B dominant seven chord shape, fret in the seventh fret, okay, with the bar. And I've got frets nine on the A and also uh, eight on the G string. I'm hitting the root note and then hammering on to that major third. Grabbing the high E string and then strumming through as I add my pinky to the 10th fret of the B string. Which finger choices you use is up to you, but I do find myself using pick, then the middle finger, then my ring finger to grab the high E string, and then the plectrum or the pick to strum through all the way to the B string, that dominant seven right there. All right, so over the B chord, Notice how I hit the root there. Right here, then strum. You put that entire turnaround together and it should sound like this. And in context, coming out of the five chord, B7. A7. And here we go. You'll need to hit the root note before you jump into the turnaround just to imply the chord. A nice slide away sounds great. And a strum of the B7 chord before resolving. I hope you enjoyed this.